Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me in another video. So today I'm going to be filming a autumn slash fall get ready with me, including my hair, makeup and outfit. And I'm going to be using my Kylie Jenner Kai Shadow Palette, which I'm super, super excited to use because last night was the first time that I just swatched a couple of the shades and I have not used it yet. Well, I already have used it because I've just filmed the video, but you know what I mean. Hopefully you know what I mean. So please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I feel like this is going to be a rambly one, so let's just get straight into the video. As I am doing a get ready with me video today, I thought I would start out in my dressing gown because this is how I usually start out in the morning, getting ready. So to prime my eyes, I'm going to be using the Colour Tattoo um, by Maybelline, the 24 hour cream pots and this one is in the shade, if I can find it, creme de nude. Um, I know what you might be thinking, why am I not using my Urban Decay, Urban Decay? <laughs> Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and you're so right, if you watch any of my other videos that is all I ever use is my Urban Decay one and it's just because I love it so much, like it's honestly one of, no actually, I'll rephrase that, it's honestly the best eyeshadow primer that I have ever used. Um, so yeah, I usually use that one, but in all honesty, I do like these pots as well. And I just kind of found them in my collection the other day and I thought, I'm just going to use them. So that is what I'm doing. <laughs> I look so funny now. Of course, the star of the show is the Kai Shadow Palette by Kylie Jenner, of course. That's the packaging, it looks like this inside and I'm so excited to use it. I tried to refrain from even swatching these shadows, like I've not used them on my face at all. But I tried to refrain from even swatching them, however, I got to last night and I didn't really know what I was going to be doing with the look. So I thought, I need to have a little swatch. So. But they are fresh, I've not even tried them on my eyes yet. So these are the colours inside. I am super, super excited to get started on this look. The only downside is that there's no mirror here. Like how easier it would have been if I had a mirror there and I could just do that. But now I have to like put this on my knee, hold this mirror up. Hope you guys can feel the struggles right now. So I'm taking a spongy applicator as always. I always like to pack eyeshadow on with this. And I am taking the colour Topaz. No wait, that's not right. Is that right? Topaz? No, just Topaz. I don't know, like, if when you turn the shades over, is that the colour that matches that one? Or is it, like, the back of each one? I'm kind of confused now. Is that a really silly question? I feel like it is. I think it's maybe called Jasper. I think when you turn over, this shade is the left shade and it's not like the corresponding shades. Does that make any sense? I think I'm going to look really stupid right now, but I hope you can appreciate what I'm saying. We're going with Jasper. It's the creamy shade in the top left corner. And I'm just going to apply that all over the lid. Oh my god, this is so pigmented. What a lovely colour. Well, I'm now going to take the shade... Topaz, which is the top right shade. Oh, it's quite powdery. You get quite a lot of kickback. Taking that on a fluffy brush and running that through the crease. I wish there was a bit of a lighter shade for the crease actually because this is a little bit dark for my skin tone. It might be nicer on darker toned skin, but this is a little bit dark. I'm just going to have to blend this a little bit more. I think I want to give the crease a little bit more warmth, so I'm going to take the middle orange shade, which is called Citrine. Oh, that's a nice name for a shade. Again, this one is quite powdery, but you know what? Eyeshadows are powder at the end of the day, so I don't care. As long as it doesn't fall out, then that's the main thing. Wow, this colour is gorgeous. I'm just placing that over the brownie shade that I popped on but kind of not bringing it as high. The shadows actually blend really, really nicely. You don't have to work hard at blending them out whatsoever. 
I'm just going to go in with the Warmy Fudge colour which is Tiger Eye and I'm just using the same brush as I always do in most of my videos because I find that there's no point in using loads of different brushes when your looks are all going to be blended in together anyway. I mean that's my way of thinking it about it anyway. I'm just popping that kind of in the lower half of the crease, kind of popping it on to the mobile eyelid and then in the outer V of the eye. And now that I've done that, I'm going back in the orange shade because I've kind of lost the warmth from just blending a bit too much. But that's alright because it's better to have too much than too, um, I mean, <laughs> no, it's better to have too little than too much. I'm now going to switch to this little brush from Makeup Revolution, it's part of the Rose Gold collection. And I'm going to go into the shade Bronzite, which is a really nice chocolatey brown colour. I'm just going to pop that in the outer V of the eye. Oh, this is so, so gorgeous. I'm just popping it in the outer V and then blending it through the crease, but just keeping it low, not to disturb like the orangey colours. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of the black shade as well, which is Obsidian? Obsidian. I think I'm saying that right. I'm so hoping that I'm not getting all these back to front, all these shades, but hopefully you know what I mean. I'm just going to pop that in the outer V again. This time I'm not running it through the crease though. This is just to build up the depth and the darkness of the eyes. I think I'm actually good with those colours and I'm just going to take, a, once again, that big fluffy brush and run the orange shade through my crease once again just to pull everything together and make sure that it is still warm because I really want it to be a warm, smoky-ish eye. For the eyelid now, I think I want to go back in with the cream first of all. So that was the first shade we used, which was Jasper, I think. <laughs> and just want to pat that on the inner half, I would say, of the eye, just to kind of lighten that up. I don't know if I'm going to go in with a little bit of a sparkle, because I don't know how I feel about it all being matte. I'm not used to this, all my eyes. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is add a little bit of quartz, which looks like a champagne colour, but I don't know how pigmented it's going to be. And just pop that over the cream. And I'm using the sponge applicator again. Actually, that's exactly how I wanted it. This colour is really not sparkly at all. Um, it's got a tiny little bit of shimmer but not a lot. I'm now going in with my Primark eyeliner and I'm not going to do a winged line um, this time. Just going to line the lash line to give it a little bit of depth. This is just to make it look a little bit more full, my lash line. Then I'm going in with an angled brush just quickly before that Primark liner decides to dry, which there's not a lot of time because it is actually a really good liner, just to smoke that out. I'm not even pulling it up on the tail or anything like that, I'm just kind of smoking out it right close to the lash line and this will give an appearance that you've got thicker lashes. Of course you don't need to do this step if you are going to be popping false eyelashes on with this look because of course the false eyelashes will give you the appearance of a fuller lash line. So I'm just going to do the same on the other eye and I'll leave a little link to my testing Primark makeup video down below because I really really like some of the products which is of course why I'm using them again. Especially this eyeliner because it was so so easy to line your top lash line.
Lego Name with Mascara and as always it's the Maybelline the Colossal Volume Express and it's a waterproof version. This is my favourite, favourite mascara ever. I'm just going to give a really good coat to the top lashes. Next up is foundation and I am so so sad because I have run out of my Kiko Milano powder foundation. I do have a darker shade but it is too dark for me just now because my skin is a little bit light with it being the winterish time. So first of all I'm going to spray my face with the Temple Spa Tone in Essence just to kind of rehydrate my skin. I have already moisturised. I'm going to prime with the Urban Decay, I don't even know what this is called anymore, I think it's the Pore Perfecting because the packaging is rubbed off because I have had it for a few months. Just going to rub this into the skin, push it into my pores and because I have um, oily skin I do quite like to pop this all over my face. I know that some people only kind of prime their t-zone area but because like I say I've got oily skin sometimes it does um, come off like here on my side bar parts and like on the temples as well. Foundation, I'm using the Kiko Milano Skin Evolution Foundation and this is in the shade 107 Creamy Beige and when I bought this in the shop the lady actually told me that it was similar to the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Now the Estee, I don't have the Estee Lauder foundation but just if you kind of wanted to try that I don't know if it is a, a dupe for it or not, but if you fancy giving that a shot and posting a little video or telling someone down in the comments if you've tried it, then please do so. I might help someone out. And I'm just going to go in, and this is the sponge from Real Techniques, and I'm just blending that in. Because this is a quite thick foundation, I find that it's better to blend it with a sponge, because if you blend it with a brush, you tend to just kind of drag the product around and that's not what we're trying to do here. So I'm just kind of tapping it and pressing it into the skin. To set my foundation I'm going to be using the Kiko Milano Invisible Powder and oh, I'm just going to tap a little bit out on the top and first of all take my Beauty Blender and kind of pack a little bit on and I'm going to work that underneath my eyes to make sure that the foundation doesn't crease. With my face I'm going to take a big fluffy brush, this is the one from Urban Decay, I'm not sure what it's called and I'm just going to pat out quite a lot of this powder and lightly dust this all over the rest of my face. make sure that that kind of all sinks into my skin I'm just going to respray with my Temple Spa. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows but I'm not going to film this because I have filmed a eyebrow tutorial that will be up really really soon on the channel. I am now going to finish off the rest of the eyes and I'm going to take the orangey shade again which is Citrine and on the big fluffy brush that I used initially I'm just going to pop that under the lower lash line. This is just our base shade to make sure that we're pulling the warmth from the top of the eyes and replicating that at the bottom. Take the... Oh, it's a hard decision when you're doing the lower lash line. I think I'm going to take that chocolatey bronze one, which is bronzite, and just pop that on um, that thinner Makeup Revolution brush. Just so I've got a little bit more control. And again, run that right the way along the lower lash line but don't bring it down as far as you did the orangey shade. And then lastly I'm going to take my little angled brush and dip into the black colour and I'm just going to pop that on the outer half of the eye. Really close to the lash line as well. I'm now going to take my Kiko Milano in the shade Eyeshadow and Kajal. This is in the shade 01 and I'm taking the creamy colour and I'm going to pop that into my waterline. 
this just a little bit just so that it looks a little bit lighter and again it makes our eyes look a little bigger For contour I'm going to be using my Primark Master Contour Palette and I'm taking the shade here which is like a nice ashy grey brown shade. I'm going to be using my Makeup Revolution Rose Gold brush and just applying that into the hollows of the face and then blending up. This brush is great for contour contouring because it really gives a really nice sharp edge. Make sure that you go up into your hairline as well so that it doesn't look dirty there. For highlighter, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Ultra Pro Glow. Now this is going to be featured in a haul very, very soon, so watch out for that. I'm using the top left shade and the bottom left shade mixed together on a fan brush and I'm just going to hit my cheekbones with that. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous contour kit. I love it so, so much. A contour? It's not a contour kit. You guys know what I mean, don't you? Just going to hit above the brow bone. I don't really want a lot of blush today so I'm just using the Liedekin Blossom Blusher in the shade 02 Milky Apricot. It is not much, it's pigmented but it's not really that um, different from my skin colour. So it's just a little bit of a pinky glow and I'm just popping that on my apples of the cheek and back a bit. Just to give a little wash of colour but nothing much. Then finally for the lips, um, my favourite combo which I have been loving from Primark, um, the eye lip liner is in the shade brown. Again, I will leave a little link to my Primark video down below for you to check out my review and first impressions of these products. I am going to top that off with the Lipstick Primark and this is in the shade Toffee number 12 and this is only 90 pence. Amazing. I'm going to have one final spray of the Temple Spa Toning Essence. This really helps your makeup set into your skin. It really like pushes it into your pores, which I know sounds disgusting, but it makes your makeup last. And this is the finished look. I think that it is very, very autumnal and fall time. And yeah, I love it. Dark eyes, dark lips, and it is just great. I love it. I love the Kylie eyeshadow palette. It's really, really made my eyes stand out, I think. If I was doing it again, I probably wouldn't have put that cream in the waterline, but hey ho, we make mistakes, don't we, and we learn from them. Okay, so now that makeup's done, I'm going to move on to my hair. I'm going to be using this coconut hair oil and it is simply just organic coconut oil that makes your hair shiny. So I'm taking one pump of that and I'm going to also take a little bit of the Got To Be Oilicious with Argan Oil. This is the Silent Oil which also makes your hair glossy but it tames frizz and shine as well. I'm just going to put a little pump of that. You might think this is too much, but if you've got curly hair, then you will know the struggles with frizz that us girls with curly hair have. Or guys out there, if you have curly hair and you wear your hair down, like it honestly gets so frizzy and unmanageable that you need to put a couple of products in your hair. So I'm just running that all the way through my ends. And I feel today that I just kind of want to have it like messy curls. So... 
I am going to be using these, which are my Glamorizer Curling Wand. It comes with this really, really nice sparkly purple pouch. Let me take it out and show you what it looks like. Please excuse mine, they're like quite dirty, but they have a little clip here, as you can see, and the barrel spins. All I'm going to do is take some sections of here and just curl them. And when I'm doing this, I'm going to curl this side this way, so to the left, this side to the right, and then that way the curls will go away from my face. And That's my curls done now, so I'm just kind of going to messily ruffle them through with my fingers. Like I said, I don't want them really neat, I just want them quite messy. I think I'm going to want to do a little bobble. So I'm just going to take a little section of hair from the crown of my head. And I'm just going to tie this in a little bobble. Make sure it's nice and tight. And you just kind of want to pull little parts of the bobble out just to fluff up the front. Favourite, favourite hairspray, which is the VO5 Ultimate Hold one. Um, actually, it could be anyone. There's Ultimate Hold. What else? What other hold is there? There's Strong Hold. Um, but any of this VO5 hairspray is my favourite. And I'm just going to spray the curls to make sure that they last. This also helps with frizz as well. Mind to get the little bits of hair on the front. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you enjoyed the makeup and the hair and my outfit and all the little rambly bits in between. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Also this channel has really grown a little bit recently. I've got a lot of new people come to the channel so thank you so much for subscribing if you have done that recently. Thank you also for being subscribed and watching my videos if you've been here a little while. Leave a little comment down below letting me know where you're from because I'd quite like to know where everybody is from, where you're all watching and let's just chat down below. And make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any videos that I post. Leave a little comment down below to let me know if you did enjoy the video and I'll see you next time. Bye! Look at all this Christmas stuff guys. Oh my god. Oh my god.